Hello YouTube, how's it going? It's time for the final day of Josh Jam. Uh, it's day five. We have 21 missions left to rate. Um, I, I removed a couple ones that shouldn't be here from last time if you're wondering. But yeah, we've got 21 missions left to rate. Um, and then after that, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna pick some winners of each category. Um, but yeah, if you're watching this on the main channel, you're watching the edited, highlighted version of this where you get all the good bits one after the other, nice cut down for you. But if you want to, for some reason, watch the entire full-length thing, uh, you can find it over on the Joshimus Uncut channel. Uh, it'll probably be like an eight-hour video. Uh, yeah, with that out of the way, um, yeah, we've got 21 missions. Oh, oh, one more thing, actually. Um, the, uh, the, the timer was wrong. I, for some reason, at the end of day three, one person in the YouTube comments noticed, noticed it. Uh, at the end of day three, I stopped the timer at 21 hours and 16 minutes. But at the, at the beginning of day four, I started the timer at 27 hours and 15 minutes. So I, I must have accidentally read the one as a seven. So I added six hours to the timer by mistake. So I've rectified that. The end of day four ended at 33.54. Uh, so I've rewound it six hours, and now we're at 27.54. Doesn't really matter, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> it's not really a speedrun or anything, but, you know, I thought I would rectify my mistake anyway. So yeah, that's why the timer is different between episodes. Um, I'm going to actually now press the start timer button, and uh, let's start with the first mission. We're going to do a few refreshes, and stop that wheel. CJ goes on safari. Huh. Uh, hello, I'm hope you in G me my mission. Somewhere in wild. Enter safari jeep. Okay. Drive. I will. Go and park here. I shall. Oh my god, an elephant! <laughs> and a ant. He xd he pee. What the fuck? <laughs> Go to it. Oh my god. Wow, I've actually... I was about to say... Right? I was about to say, how are they going to put animals in Dwom? I was like really interested to how the fuck this was going to work. Take an a picture of the ant. Oh, okay. So good for Tografar. Now you take photo of elephant too. Oh my god, a wild chicken. Wow. Go sit on new car. Go to new spot. Okay. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Okay. So I put food to make something. Wait for animals to come here. Oh. No animal is coming, sad face. Oh, CJ's checking his watch. Okay, I will sleep until Anna, Annie, An, Aalmol come. Zeds. What was that noise? The food are gone! <laughs> Hello, CJ. I didn't know you was here. Uh, Smoke, you ate it. My food, it was not for you. No, I didn't. It was a cheater. Oh my god, the theme. No, Smoke, it's you. There is no cats in this game. Go home, Spam. I mean, Smoke. The cheater have poisoned thou against me. I will go back to sleep. Huh, why is there an car there? What the fuck? What the fuck? The cheetah is alive. Kill it. What, what cheetah where? Oh, there. Oh my god. How do I kill it? Oh fuck, there's just a woman driving it. Oh no, it's not a woman. Who is it? Oh, it's the zombie man. The, the zombie dwarf model.
Alright, this is a pretty unique use of theme. I haven't seen anyone use the cheetah as an animal. That's pretty creative. I like it. This is good. This is funny. I did it! Oh god. Win! Okay. Oh, clock. Smoke, I'm sorry that I said you ate my food. You was right. I just something. It's okay. The end of moral story is not even in the slices, I think. I had to read so fucking... I didn't get to catch... So okay, we're losing technical points to fucking up how long the text is on the screen for. I cannot read that fast enough. Yeah, sussy species. Like, I, I just had to read it. Jesus. Okay. Wait. All right, I'm taking bets. Chat. Does the mission take place in the one baseball stadium in Los Venturas? Or does it take place in the baseball field in San Fierro? We're taking bets. What do you think, chat? Which one? You guys think San Fierro? There's a bunch of Los Venturas's. Grove Street? Grove Street is another valid option. Yep, that is very true. <laughs> All right, all right. You got your bets in? Let's go. Let's find out. Where does it happen? Josh Jam, Extreme Baseball. Hi, this is my first mission. I hope you like it. Oh, it's in San Fierro. Welcome to the Extreme Baseball semifinals. This is T-Game defending something. The Blue Slops must score on this on or they will be beaten to deal with Darewa Hammers something. Check out this ugly twat. Looks like he's planning something. God, the text is so fast. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah! <laughs> hey, Josh Dam, Extreme Baseball. The second try. Skip the cutscene. Don't crash. Immediately run. Oh, I can't move a baseball bat. Oh, he blew himself up. She's cheating, one. My brothers, boil this hag alive now. Oh my. Those explosive baseballs will surely come in handy here. Surely. Sh sh surely. Holy fuck. Oh my word. Oh, I just killed all my friends. Huh. Uh, fall over. Oh man, this, this guy has so much health. Oh, that was terrible for him. Oh. Oh. Oh, victory. Greater smoke. This is ridiculous. A pathetic fuckade mi mimicking a true gentleman's game. Quarter her. Lesser smokes. As you please, my lord. What? <laughs> what? Kill the person. I have nothing left. They have guns. Ah! <laughs> I did it! Okay, right, don't use all of the grenades. Perhaps use, like... Let's get all these guys to follow me. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, perfection. I'm just gonna leave this here, and then, uh... Oh, beautiful! 
All right, nice, 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 nice. Now we're gaming. Okay, we're in. We even have a friend left. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, God, they've got so much health. Oh, behind us. There's a <laughs> fucking vending machine. Yes. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I should have looked behind me. All right, okay. Insepid fools. Got to do everything myself. Solve smoke. I solved it. Hello, mission designer here. I'm making this last minute and I need padding, so I'm making you drive to Grove. <laughs> ha! Ha! What? Wait, what? Not even in this! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> Power game. Somewhere in Vaku in special timeline. Cinder. Muhahaha. I have powers so of making anything with relic of creation. Boom. Oh, they're making things. I made the Grim Army and now they will die you. We won't be dying because we have real strong powers friendship you gonna pay it for evil shit you do to grove strets i'm gonna show you why i'm action dad because i will stop you cinder cinder fall okay kill cinder and the grim something uh you got a something relic of creation okay right some of these guys aren't headshotable, like this one. I'm taking a lot of damage from the guys with guns. Please fall over. Got him. Oh hey, health and armor. Or health and guns. I'm pretty sure you disqualified this before. I'm pretty sure you didn't listen to anything I said before starting the mission. <laughs> Look who missed five minutes of explanation. <laughs> Oh, hey, chainsaw. I'm gonna die. Ah! Bang. Okay, right now we're chainsawing. Victory for a friendship or something. I don't know the law. A bomb! So look out, it's bomb! Oh, 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 shit! Boom! <laughs> ha 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 ha! Your friendship power so weak! Mr. Myers, you are gonna be okay! Cough, cough, no, this is right end for action, Dad, to be die of my mistake! You must do what I fail. Stop, Cinder. Ooh, la, la, la. No, Mr. Saul, please. No, don't dying. Grog, I will fucking break you dead, Cinder. No matters because I make escape vehicle and you never catching me. You do driving, you no spine worm. Yes, ma'am. Don't do kill me. Ruby, stop car or Cinder gonna escape having relic. Kill driver man. Before they go to escape. Hooray. I also popped the wheelies so she can't be going far now. I gotta catch Cinder. Team Ruby will stay on here for protect something. No, you don't, Cinder. He is much dangerous. Where is no CJ is right. We all got important jobs to do fastly. CJ, go break that Cinder bitch dead and revenge everyone. Chase to where last cinder is being careful for exploder barrels. Oh my god, I can't read. Holy fuck. I cannot read this bad English this fast. <laughs> it's so difficult. Oh my god, exploder barrels. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're going. Keep keep watching out for exploder barrels. Oh, there was one. 
Okay. Oh, I accidentally skipped a cutscene. Find Cinder! Okay, I don't know what that cutscene said, but I don't think it was too important. It was like one line. What does this say? Ring donuts. Ring licking good. I've never seen this sign before. What the fuck? Rusty Brown's ring donuts. Huh. What is this asset? Okay. It's the relic. I grabbing it now. Garb the relic lick. Whoosh. <laughs> Good job trying. You actual have some big use and not useless. Wee hee hee. I love making man's bones crack and smash for easy. So the relic of crucian is mine forever, you fool. Do you have last words, CJ? He... He so mm, talk more loud. Hey, look, it's the theme. Here it goes. He so yam. See, look, there's the theme. It happens. Whoa, she activated and lots of money. <laughs> whoa, 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 what is the power of this? I got cheat codes, biatch. It's more good than your magic ass shit. And you say you're a big genius planner. Why you give him real relic? Shut up, relic is not for man of ghetto trash. Okay. I like the slow motion, like, character name things. Yeah, Nutters toys. Kill Cinder and, and Ty Ty Tyrion. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Got her. Boom. You think I'm done? I ain't done for long yet. Time to kick ass. Blow to shit out of Cinder and Tyrion. Okay. Boom. Jesus Christ. Uh, holy fucking Christ. Okay, we got there. Bonk. Hooray! Ha! You can't catching me up in my magic platform. Oh. Oh, oh dude! Kill Cinder and all her also goons. Okay. Oh god, there's wind. Oh god, there's so much wind. Please, minigun. Please, minigun. But can I? Ah, oh, the wind! Oh god, they have guns. Okay, they died. They're dead. They're dead. That one. I did it! Ah, oh, damn it. He is too much powers. Go fly us to Dark Castle now, or I kill you, flyer man. All right, Joshimus, you got this now. It's your now time. Type in all cars go boom. Wow, direct. Okay, all cars go. Actually. Oh, there's only a few seconds left. All cars go boom. Oh, there was only a few seconds. I didn't realize. Oh, God. I should have done it quicker. Hooray. Why did you gatekeep this banger mission? <laughs> Finley, the bad guys is beated. You think you win, but really you make more big problems in Remnant. What the fuck, Ozpin? Who, how are you get here? What you mean problems? You blowed all the vehicles in world, and so you kill 10 million people plus. What? I put you to normal time, so you retry without big mistake. Besides, cheaters are not winning. Right? Right? See you around like a donut, Carl. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. The end. <laughs> the fuck?
fucking shit is this? IRS cheaters made by someone who was drunk when they made it. Unknown IRS point of interest. Do you see this? Yes, Bob. Average IRS enjoyer. <laughs> Call the boss. Sound of C-sharp programming going off. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, have you seen those agent types walking around? No, go away. Wow, rude. Anyhow, HR bought those new cheaters. You can pick one up downstairs. Stupid test engineers. I am still here. <laughs> I know. Fuck off. Right? Pick up your new cheaters. Uh. 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 Uh-huh. Hey, I was told that the new cheaters had arrived. You bet. Here you go. Thanks, HR Lazy. Are you crazy? Don't throw it at me. Try on your new cheaters. Here? Collect him. Oh, fuck. What the fuck just happened? What? Look for clues. Note from Bob. Hey, this is Bob from IRS. Due to our poor performance this cycle, you are now rebalanced into our tax collection team. We know you are not qualified for field operations yet. But the IRS cheaters you put on will augment your fighting abilities. R right? Collect the overdue tax from the evil general. Good luck. Question marks? IRS left you a tool next to you. IRS cares about you. Find the evil general. Oh, hello. Right. Find the evil general. Is this an IRS ad? <laughs> okay. I need me an evil general. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ, there were guys with miniguns just at the end of the hallway. Okay. Oh, fuck! Jesus Christ. Every corner, it's like... It's either a man with like 5 ac accuracy in an SMG or a fucking minigun. Okay, nothing here. Stop! What shit's woozy? Are you the evil general? Yes. Um, I need to collect some overdue tax from you. No. <laughs> cool. Kill the- Oh, fucking Christ! No! Oh no, where did he go? There he is. Oh, I got him. Collect the tax from his putrid body. Don't set on fire. Whoa. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Wait, this is just one dollar. Always has been. IRS is very serious about tax stuff. I got kidnapped for this! Ah, die! 
Oh, leave the area. Okay. Prince of Darkness. Hi, Logan. I am current Warlord of IRS. I must say that we are very proud of you. Great job. Thanks for killing Bob and his life mate. They ate my lunch once. Oh, hey, thanks. <laughs> life mate. From now on, you are an executive of IRS. So, yeah, CEO of IRS. Thanks for suffering through our mission. Ah, uh, everyone at the end to take a bow or whatever. Hooray! Oh my god, I can't believe it's finally time. It's, it's finally time. Ready? Chat, I've been so excited for this. Oh, I split. I did it. I finally split. 32 and a half fucking hours of playing over a hundred one missions. I have done it. Oh, oh, I needed to, I needed to do a big boy refresh. Results. Oh my god, hooray! There is exactly what I needed. Yay! Thank fuck for that. Oh my god, this is exactly what I wanted. Oh, thank fucking Christ. Okay. Alright, so... I really should have put... Okay, the biggest mistake I did this jam was putting overall quality at the top of the list and not at the bottom. Alright. Use of theme. No one scored a 5 in use of theme. Alright, I feel like that's my bad then. I gave like a billion fucking one, uh, fours for use of theme. <laughs> okay. Hey, maybe I did fuck up the use of theme voting. But never mind. Use of theme four. How many? How many things won use of? Ah, oh, crah. Ah. Oh. 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 Okay. 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 Twenty-seven things got a four on a use of theme. Okay. What do we think, chat? Natural talent. This one had a five star. Oh wait. What was this mission? What was natural talent? Was that, um... Ah... Oh, fuck. What was this one? The underwater mate? Yeah, when you were like, we were going around using cheat codes to... That's right, you collected the cheat codes as pages. That's right, that's right. That one was pretty good. That one was a really good use of theme. Yeah. Yeah. This one might win use of theme. Yeah, picking up the cheat pages. That one was pretty good. Okay, that might win use of theme. Okay, so, okay, we, we got that. That should be, that should be up my, there. My bad. Natural talent wins use of theme. It was the most creative use of theme. We were running around picking up pages of a cheat code book. Um, and then using those cheats to like try to get the other cheat code books and stuff. I don't know. It was the best use of the theme. Well done. Hooray. Congratulations. It still didn't fucking update. Whatever. I give up. <laughs> you win it. Don't worry. Good job, Don Kaja. Hooray. Personal or direct message me on some form of permanent communication that is also private, i.e. not Twitch chat, and I will attempt to send you some, some Josh Merch stickers um, of your choosing to your address if you wish to dox yourself to me. Hooray! I think you, I saw you in chat a minute ago, <laughs> so you, I know you're here. But good job. Best, best use of theme. Well done. Okay, uh, if I refresh this, does it work yet? Fuck. Okay, gameplay design. All right, there are two contenders for best gameplay design. We had two missions that had five stars in mission design. We had Josh Jam the Job. 
The job was a fucking great mission that I really enjoyed. I played it several times. Uh, the party was like super well made. The gameplay was like, yeah, super, uh, super varied, but also like actually interesting and stuff. That uh, had a great story. It won story. It won. It had fucking four or five stars in it. Like, Jesus Christ. Um, so that was pretty good. The use of theme was pretty poor, but that's about it. But everything else was like five. Uh, and then we have uh, Family Request. <clears throat> that gameplay design, it had... Um, for From the gameplay design perspective, it wasn't super varied. But in my opinion, Family Request was like... It felt like the 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 shootouts were like the best shootouts i've played in like san andreas yet alone fucking dwom like it was way better than like rockstar's shit it was like super well made the the the, the shootout shootouts in it reminded me of gta online missions which is like you know 10 years after sa after like you know polish and research and mass out rockstar's fucking massive right it, it really reminded me of that kind of like level of quality and it was made in 24 fucking hours right in dwom <laughs> like the shootouts were was super good um so i think i think gameplay design definitely has to go to family request i say shingo point you win gameplay design with your fantastic shootouts in your mission. Well done. Well done. Claps in chat, anybody? Oh god, I'm clapping by myself and no one else is typing clap. It feels weird. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Cla clapping in a room by yourself is very awkward. <laughs> Alright, you win gameplay design, family request. Well done. Uh, again, message me on some form of permanent communication, like Twitter or Discord or Twitch whispers might work. I might have those disabled. I'm not sure, but I will. Uh, I will send you some game, some st some gameplay stickers. Good one, Josh. I'll send you some stickers if you wish to receive them. I you will have to dox yourself. I'll I'll pay for all the shipping and everything. Don't worry about that. All right, okay. Well done, family request. Family request wins. Uh, Gameplay design. Okay. Story. How many five stars in story did we have? Three. We got three choices. Uh, four, sorry. We got four choices. We got Josh Cham. Uh, sorry, we got job, the job again. We've got the TG. We got cheating the system. And we have CJ the cheater. Now, I remember the jobs story. It was like actually really well written and just like super good in general uh the tg got five stars in story just because it made a lot of josh references and was like actually well written and the, my character in the tg said things that i was gonna say like immediately like they wrote correctly for me like every time a character said something in my head and sometimes even out loud i was gonna say oh i'm gonna say I, like oh i you know offhandedly said something and then my character in game would like actually say it happened like several times in that mission so the story was like super well written it was interesting it was funny that the like plot twists and stuff was good cheating the system i don't remember this one C ch Chai Cannery ensues as a trio get involved into a massive scam to buy a car. Does anyone remember this one? Let me play it. Let me let me start it up again and I'll see if I remember. It didn't do that well in all the other categories, but story was a five. The Australian trio one? Cheating the system. I don't remember this one at all. <laughs> Somewhere in Luddenham, NSW. Oi, Ivan, what the fuck do you want? 
This better not be one of your brilliant scheme again. I don't remember this one at all. <laughs> okay, forgetful apparently. Alright, forgettable. Okay, whatever. Uh, it's not that one. Uh, CJ the Cheater. All oh, right, I remember this one. So this one... Um, why was this one well written? I don't remember why this one won story. Was this one that well written? It's the Australians who tanked the stocks of L Lockheed Martin by destroying Hydras and Hunters. Right. Yeah, I think I remember. The dream sequence. Yeah. Oh, I think... Um, I think I remember that the characters were well written in this. They actually like talked like themselves, maybe. Yeah, the handbrake one. Yeah, maybe that was that one. Mm, I don't know. I feel like it has to go to the the job. Um, because like I remember the storyline in the job. And, like, the silly love story that was, like, not great, but was still in there. And, like, it felt like it had an actual, like, plot. Right? I was just, like, I, I cared about the characters by the end of it. Yeah, taking the picture of the girl was so... I, yeah, it made me yap for ages. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I remembered it as well. I think I think it has to be the job. I think job has to win best story. Yeah, it's stuck in my mind. I can still remember it now. The other ones I don't remember that much. But yeah, okay. I say the dairy with Josh Jam the job wins wins story. You win story. Congratulations. Hooray. Message me for stickers if you want them. Good job. I don't know if you're here. I hope you are. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll have to watch the YouTube video in, like, a month and find out. <laughs> well done. Probably not the only thing you win. Uh, right. Humor and charm. So we've got... Um, oh, there's a lot. Oh, oh, God. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine missions. And I think I can already tell which ones I'm going to say. Oh, the wrench, though. Oh, the wrench. Oh, no. Oh, the wrench. American Hero was pretty good. Redemption. Natural Talents here again. Joshua gets hit by a rocket and dies. Cheater. CJ the Cheater. Yeah, the torments of a creative yet lazy mind. Oh, man. Ah, uh, so I really, 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 really thought this mission was so fucking funny. The primo joke, chat. The primo joke. It was so fucking funny. I played this mission like multiple times, right? That one was pretty funny. The TG was also really funny with fucking teleport gang but i don't think it was as funny as the other one um the wrench though <laughs> the wrench <laughs> and like a guy was sleeping with his wife which was the spanner <laughs> uh the wrench was pretty funny American Hero was pretty good as well, but I don't know if it was like Wrench funny or or Cheetah Chronicles funny. Same with Redemption. Same with Natural Talent. Natural Talent was also very funny. Joshua gets hit by a rocket and dies was pretty funny. CJ the Cheetah was also really funny. And and Torments of Creative Your Lazy Mind was also really funny, but it has to be okay. Oh, do you guys really think the wrench was the funniest? 
I think Wrench was the only one I laughed out loud. Uh, see, for me, from a very personal, maybe selfish perspective, I really liked Ch Cheetah Chronicles just because it was, like, actually funny for, for me, specifically, to play it as me, because it had a lot of me references in it, right? Watch both VODs and compare your laughter? That would be quite difficult. <laughs> Because I'd have to find them in the VODs. It's Josh Jam, not Cheat Jam. Yeah. Yeah, can't both be winners? No. <laughs> None of that everybody wins shit. I, I think the wrench wins the people's choice. You, you the, the wrench... Dwarm Enjoyer and the Wrench wins uh, wins chat's vote. Maybe YouTube's vote. But uh, I, I'm afraid I have to pick Dang Train's Cheetah Chronicles. I, I'm sorry. It's a bit selfish, but this mission was so fucking funny. Picking, trying to find the Primo in all the cars. So good. So funny. Yeah. I'm I'm picking Cheetah Chronicles. Well done, Cheetah Chronicles. From extremely selfish perspective, you win. <laughs> you win uh humor charm on humor and charm. The wrench was really good though. I feel bad for the wrench not winning, but but uh this was still pretty fucking funny. Yeah, well done. Alright, yeah, message me, dang train again, stickers, all that stuff. Alright, technical. I think we only had yeah, there were three technical missions. Uh, so we had... Fucking the job again, man. So we had Rig or Exploit the Game by Ducking Heights. This one was really technical. It put us, like, out of bounds, right? And everything was super fucking glitchy and I'd never seen it before. And it did others, like, really interesting things, didn't it? That was super well, interestingly well made. Yeah, I think Rig or Exploit the game was, like, the only, like, it did actually a super technical thing. The job was just, like, really fucking well made. Like, the quality, production value was just super high. That's why I had a 5 for technical. And, uh, and Are You the Best Cheater got a 5 for technical just because it put the camera in a really weird spot, right? Um, maybe you guys don't remember this one. Let me, let me, this one's like super short. I'll be able to show it to you again. Um, yeah, Rig or Exploit the Game was the one with the super high out of bounds thing. Uh, this one was the, uh, this one was the GTA 2 camera, yeah. So this, I, I go into the driving school, right, and then we get this. Then this, this, I had to race like this. Win the race. Right, with this camera angle. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was pretty interesting on a technical perspective. But I don't think it deserves to win, because it's like... It is just this. I'm going to lose the race, hilariously enough. Or maybe not. Yeah, I didn't lose, but... But that is literally, like, that is literally the whole mission, right? Um, so I think we kind of, we kind of have to give it to rig or exploit the game. Just because the outside of that, it was the only one that did anything super interesting from a technical perspective, right? It was the, it was the point of the mission was to be interesting in a technical way. And that's what this was. So I think, I think Ducking Heights wins wait what did i just read no okay i think ducking heights wins technical with rigor exploit the game yeah well done that was the best mission from like a technical perspective the other like the job was just really well made well produced high quality and the other mission did a funny camera angle thing did you ever figure out how long it would take to fall from the height no i don't want to <laughs> But yeah, that one, I say that uh, that one wins. Best technical. Well done. 
Okay, and it's time for the big boy prize. Oh, yeah, again, message me, Ducking Heights, and I'll uh, send you a thing. So, overall quality. There were... Five. Sorry, what? Nine. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There were eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There were eight missions that had a five-star overall quality. And I think there is only one choice. Yeah, our chat knows it. Torments of a Creative Let Lazy Mind was a really good mission. Family Requests was a really good mission. Like, Torments of a Creative Yet Lazy Mind used the theme well and was pretty funny. Family Request designed a shootout really well. Um, and yeah, had the plot twist at the end for the story and the theme. CJ the Cheater was really funny and had like a good story. Um, Josh was gets hit by a rocket and dies was just really funny <laughs> and was like decent everywhere else. Natural Talent was really funny and really clever use of the theme of the cheat code stuff. Um, the TG was also really funny and a good use of theme and a pretty decent Josh references with the story and wrote for me pretty well. Cheetah Chronicles was also really funny and used the theme pretty well, but no other mission was as well fucking rounded as the job. Um... It, it had a fucking great storyline. Like, I actually cared about all the characters. The gameplay was, like, super... It was a really long mission, super uniquely made. The, the things I was doing in the missions were, like, yeah, interesting, unique. Taking pictures of people. The ludonarrative elements of taking a picture of the character as, like, an objective to, like, for push the story forwards of him, like, being in love with her and stuff. Uh, the, the, the overall quality of, like, the, 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 the scope was perfect, right? You made, like, one really dense room for the intro cutscene, and then you made, like, you did interesting technical things with this and having, like, it, the, the interior polished. This fucking party area was so fleshed out, there was so much happening in it. Um, so the, from a technical perspective, it was great. The humor and charm, it wasn't particularly funny, but it was just charming because of the stupid love storyline that happened, right? And it was pretty good for that. The only thing it wasn't fucking perfect on was use of theme, right? Because it was like a loose, like, theming of like, yeah, okay, you're using the cheetah car as the car that you're stealing, right? Like, okay, like, that's fine, right? We, Josh, we get it, you love it, stop jerking it off. So, like, this one... Its lowest score was use of theme, which was free. Humor and charm, and everything else was five. Right? A second playthrough is deserved. I already played through it twice, but we'll fucking do it again. <laughs> we'll play through the job one last time. This was the best mission of Josh Jam. I still can't believe you made it in fucking 24 hours, Derry. I'm, I'm kind of, I, I, at some level, I'm, like, suspicious that it was a ma mission made else outside, but I'm sure it wasn't. Alright, this is the Josh Jam mission. One final job. Yeah, this is when I play it and I fucking hate it, yeah. I'm just like, what the fuck? <clears throat> it takes a while to load, just because it's fucking huge. Oh, and I could skip every single cutscene in it without it crashing as well. The job. The job. Yeah. Please, a greatest hits compilation. There will be. There will be. Don't worry. Brad, I'm really getting tired of this life, Ashley. Look at all the backgrounds. We are putting ourselves in danger with every mission we do. Let's just take a car and go. Like, where the fuck are we? I don't even know. You just, you and me. Look, animations. It's a little glitchy, but that's just one. Without a single worry between your beautiful eyes. Oh, stop it. 
Look, they're all like doing different animations each sentence. You're too cute. You know we can't do this even if we wanted to. Our previous job went horribly. We, uh, sorry, our previous job went horribly. We lost Michael, money, something. We used to live in a villa. Look around you. We are surrounded by disgust. Like this fucking backstory that didn't need to exist. We had this stupid little camera thing. We were like showing how disgusting it is. The little flies. We can't afford to run. Let's wait for one more job. I promise you we'll make a big buck and run away. Together. <laughs> Together. Oh, come here and give me a kiss. Footsteps. Oh, you are too cute. Hey, you two. Oh, shouting. Whoa. Camera angle shaking. Ha ha ha. No slacking on work. Okay, that the camera angle shouldn't have been shaking there. I've just had a call. It's a big one. I guess his name is just Boss. You want to know what else is big? Stupid sex. <laughs> 2.2 .2 million in cash, enough for everyone. See, they he got characters to act with animations instead of just text like everyone else did. That's the only person who did that. I can't remember any other mission that made characters like the story was progressed by animations and not just voice lines, right? No violence. Cheats and every one of you will have a task. Sign for you, Ashley. Showcases for VIP only, but we need to have someone inside. Locate an Otto's employee. Nothing past minor injury is loud. You can drop gas into their vents so they fall asleep. Look at the boss is like outlying the plan as we're like playing through the plan. It's kind of like a, a TV shows do that, right? Where like they're laying out like, okay, here's the plan. Like Steve, you're going to sneak in and then you're going to take out the guards, right? And then you see Steve in, take, sneak in and take out the guards, right? In a film. But here we're doing it in a video game. So we actually get to play what the boss is describing happens. When you get inside, you are to find their uniform and necessary documents. See? There's no, like, fucking... There's no, like, pick up the documents objective, right? They don't need that. They don't need to tell me the fucking objective because it's fucking in the story. It's in the game, right? You know, it's obvious what I have to do. Like, oh, okay, I need to have the fucking... Ob get the documents. It's what the boss is outlining, right? And, like, here's the fucking documents. And, look, they added a vent... Because I used tear gas to vent the girl or whatever. I've done my part. Meet you at the showcase. Please be safe. Oh, I didn't get the key card. Whoops. I did now. Brad, your mission is to steal news equipment to get into the showcase as a photographer. The amount of details is crazy, yeah. Don't worry, Ashley. Meet you at the showcase. Take care. Look, and then I'm receiving the phone call that she just had with me. This mission blows over if we get our hands bloody. Avoid violence. See? It's just so well made and well written. I don't think I could have done this good. I mean, I didn't, did I? My mission was kind of shit. After you take the van, you'll drive off to the showcase. I don't know why we had to do a ramp here. I guess they couldn't get that gate to open. I don't know. Right, and then we know we're driving off to the showcase. Later that day... Ramps are cool. Sure. Autos. Autos. Get in. I'm going to be watching you two lovebirds from outside. Look at all this happening. Like, all of this is like... Look at all these details. You got a cop here. Like... Pointing his gun for some reason. We got a guy out here buying a chili. Why is there a man outside buying a chili dog? I didn't even notice this detail the first time. Why is this a thing? You got the homeless guy looking at the inside, being like, oh man. You know? Like, what the fuck are the details? I don't know what that guy's up to. Oh. Who the hell is you? He is with me. And it's Ashley, look. With new clothes. You look cute. Shut up, I, you are going to blow out my cover. Stick to the mission. Photograph the car, right? Now, slight technical failing is that you have to, like... They had to add these chain things for me to photo. Oh, that guy just fell down. 
But I don't know if there was a way around this or not. I'm not 100% certain. But yeah, like, I could, so I take a photo of the car. And that progresses the mission. Photograph the door. Photograph the guy. That's like the only blemish in this is the silly floating chain thing. But look at all these fucking details. So there's a lady talking to the guy at reception. Ashley's here. There's just so much like stuff. This guy sat on this bench. These guys talking over the car. The guard. This soda machine is at an angle for some reason. Nothing on bottom floor. Place is heavily guarded. Return to Ashley to get to the first floor. Takeout is really a police surveillance scheme. And then I photograph Ashley. Oh, hey, my eyes hurt now. Just get to the second floor. I don't have any access there. Right, and it makes total sense that my character would then, like, take a photo of her as, like, a cutesy, like, oh, I love you here. I want a photo thing. Right? I kind of wish it wasn't pointed out as an objective, but you kind of have to with the silly chain thing, I suppose. Then we go up here, we take a photo of this, take a photo of this. And we're looking for the car. What color is our car again? Black. Then this isn't it. I'm going to get to the second floor. Go to the second floor. Right, and of course, the car is the cheater. Haha, <laughs> of course it is, lol. Approach the car. Oops. Hey, paparazzi, come take a photo of me and my wife. Photograph the couple. Do you like the car, son? I'm Otto. My company designed this machine. Oh shit, I see you have a taste in women just like you do with cars. Strong and beautiful. Yes, yes. Now, boy, you'll excuse me, but I've got some business to take care of. Isn't this his showcase? Why is he leaving? I just fucking... I met, I just met fucking Otto. How cool is that? Oh yeah, I see him pulling off. Isn't this his party? Whatever. We are still stealing the... Oh shit! Ashley! The Sleeping Beauty. She is the one. She drugged me and took my spare clothes to get to the event. Hey now, let's stay rational and think about this. Ashley has been made. Go with plan B. What the fuck is plan B? Shoot the fire alarm. Look at this one. Shoot the fire alarm. Oops. I shoot the fire alarm and it actually works. Then they have these silly little water effects. Look at this shit. Use the distraction. Get in the car and jump for it. Oh shit. Right, and then this was a bit shit because I always fall off here and die. But I'll just... Uh... There we go. Uh. Go to the gate, gate, getaway spot and meet your contractor. Then we get five stars. And then we just have like a fucking car chase at the end. But uh, I don't think many police spawn because they didn't despawn the cars from the party. But I guess they couldn't because it would look kind of weird anyway. This is a literal GTA 5 online heist. I know, right? And then, yeah, there's another. The only other blemish on this mission is that it just ends abruptly because the person making it ran out of, like, objectives and stuff, they said. Like, they said they ran out of objectives, so they had to, like, yeah, end it super quickly. But, uh, but they didn't know that they were, would have been allowed to make, like, another, like, start another dot dat file and, like, yeah, w flesh it out from there. Which apparently would have been fine, right? Like, yes, please, make more of this mission. Oh. Was it their first mission as well? Jesus Christ. Oh. 
I see you've done the job. Impressive. I must say I did have my doubts. Huh? You know my name. You stole my car and made me a millionaire yet again. It's Otto. I was on the verge of bankruptcy and now my work has made it all over the news. Fast as a cheater. Unbreakable Raging Bull are the names of the media is describing my car. I guess we'll be making the name official. Fellow friends, first production cheater is yours. The end. Yeah, like, I don't know why it ends so weirdly at the end, but yeah, there you go. The final cutscene's a little buggered. But yeah, then it's about the cheater at the end. Yeah, they shoot at Otto for some reason. Yeah, I think the shooting when Ashley gets discovered as well isn't supposed to happen. I feel like they messed up the, like, aggression thing. Like, who's who's aggressive with who? They, like, fucked it up and then people just start fighting each other when they shouldn't. But doing that in 24 hours is, like, fucking crazy. Like, I can't imagine making a mission of that much stuff in it. In 24 hours. So, yeah, good job, Derry. Best mission of the Dwarm Jam, for sure. Highest rated in, like, everything overall. Well done. You win overall best game. Hooray! Message me for stickers. Didn't you also win something else? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Did I give them story? I might have given them story as well. I don't remember. Uh, there you go. There were all the winners of Josh Jam. Those were all the missions made in 24 hours or less. After I gave people a theme, like, out of nowhere, and people made a fucking Dwarm mission of all things. All of these missions are, like, insanely high quality compared to anything else you'll find on the Dwarm website. So, thank you. Well done. Well fucking done. Every person. Even, like, what is the worst mission? Yeah, okay, there are some bad ones, but even these ones would be, like... <laughs> like, still... Like, if I gave it a one star, that's, like, average Josh Jam... Uh, sorry, Josh Dwarm random mission shit. There were only, like, four one star missions. Everything else was, like, two stars or better, right? So, yeah. I feel like everyone did, like, super fucking good. Super fucking good. So, yeah. If you took part in Josh Jam, well fucking done. 99% chance you made a better mission than half the shit that was on the Dwarm website. So well done. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's that, I guess. Well done to everybody. Thanks a lot. Um, we'll definitely do this again sometime. This was, like, super good. Even though it dragged on for me at the end. There's been, like, a month of playing these fucking missions. Um, next time, we'll definitely increase the scope of this. Um, we're not gonna have a 48 hour doubt deadline. Everyone complaining about that? No. Um, but we will have more judges. I'm gonna recruit some judges. Um, and, uh, next time we'll have a criteria for, uh, how much Josh should play it. So we'll have, like, a... We'll have an overall quality. We'll have all of these again. But we'll also have, like, another criteria of, like, should Josh play this mission or not? Like, one to five stars. Um, and the ones that, like, get the highest stars in those, uh, I will play. So people... So so I'll have other people test all the missions, and they can rate whether I should play it or not. Um, just so, like, people can play, like, you know, a splattering of missions. Um, and then it means I don't have to play every single mission, right? Because otherwise we'll fucking play, take another month again. Maybe even more if more people join next time, right? I can't be playing every single mission again. Way too much effort. <laughs> so I'll have to recruit like five or between five and ten people to just, uh, yeah, have quality control for me. It also will get rid of all the people that like recycled missions, all the missions that like are bad to have on stream and stuff. It's just, it's just made safer and makes more, more sense to do it that way. Yeah, make quality missions next time. Okay, that's it. That's the end of Josh Jam. We did it. Hooray. Uh, yeah. I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, was excellent. Thank you everyone who took part. I'm really shocked by the quality of the things that you all made in 24 hours. Um, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching YouTube and or Twitch viewers. Um, 
I think I'm done for now. I am gonna go do something that isn't Dwom. Just anything that isn't Dwom. That's my plan for the rest of today and the rest of this month. Alright, thanks a lot everybody. See you all in the next one, whenever that is. Goodbye, thanks for watching. Bye.